the future of electric vehicles is not made in China. India, USA, Japan and Australia are all set to topple China in the electric vehicle market. As the world moves away from fossil fuels, it is becoming exceedingly clear that the future of the world is with electric vehicles. The electric vehicle market is powered entirely by lithium-ion batteries and therefore China, which is a world leader in lithium-ion battery production, enjoys an undisputed advantage. However, the US, India, Japan and Australia are now looking to dethrone China from the near monopoly that it enjoys in the lithium-ion battery market. Driven by the ambitions of cutting reliance on China, the four democratic countries are making individual and collaborative efforts to get rid of Chinese dependence in the lithium-ion battery market. The lithium-ion batteries were originally commercialized by Japanese multinational conglomerate Sony in the 1990s. The revolutionary batteries promise high energy density, long recharging cycles, lightweight structure and relative safety and can be used across mobiles, laptops and most importantly, electric vehicles. Lithium-ion batteries will change the future of global transportation. Currently, the lithium-ion batteries are costly and make up a major proportion of an electric vehicle's total cost. In the Tesla Model 3, for example, the lithium-ion battery accounts for one-third of its $35,000 price. Electric vehicles will become commercially viable only when the cost of lithium-ion batteries cuts down. However, it is suspected that over the next one decade, the cost of lithium-ion batteries will go down drastically from the present $176 per kilowatt hour of electrical energy to less than $100 per kilowatt hour. This will put the lithium-ion battery-powered electric vehicles at par with the fossil fuel-powered vehicles. Given China's tendency of using its economic heft in order to achieve geopolitical goals, it is not in the interest of the four Indo-Pacific powers, informally called the Quad, to let China prevail in the electric vehicle sector that will come to dominate global transportation in the future. Presently, China manufactures two-thirds of the world's lithium-ion batteries and it is also the biggest producer of graphite, a key raw material for manufacturing lithium-ion battery anodes. China also has huge reserves of lithium, but it prefers importing 80% of the white metal so that it can store up for future needs. Beijing is saving its lithium because it knows that 10 to 15 years down the line, lithium will be the world's white petroleum. Within India, there has been a determined attempt to reduce dependence on China when it comes to lithium-ion batteries. As early as 2018, Anant Gite, the then Union Minister for Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises, had announced that India would soon become a manufacturer of the lithium-ion batteries. Declaring that the Indian government accords top priority to e-mobility, Gite had said that India would not be dependent on China for key components. India's attempts to become self-reliant in lithium-ion batteries and by necessary implication, the electric vehicle sector are thwarted by the availability of raw materials. Lithium-ion batteries require five main components – lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese and natural graphite. The last three are omnipresent and abundantly available. But with lithium and cobalt, India has scarcity issues. India plans to make up for the paucity of lithium, the most important component in lithium-ion battery manufacturing, by tapping into South America's lithium triangle that consists of Chile, Bolivia and Argentina. The world's highest lithium reserves are found here, led by Chile. India is in the process of setting up huge lithium-ion battery plants and the lithium triangle will help India in meeting the growing demands. India has also signed a memorandum of understanding with Bolivia for development and industrial use of lithium-ion batteries. Lithium production and processing is where India is going to rope in its new best friends, Australia and Japan. Japanese companies like Suzuki Motor Corporation, in joint venture with Toshiba and Denso, have already laid plans for the country's first lithium battery manufacturing plant in the state of Gujarat. Moreover, Australia wants to help India in setting up its first lithium refinery. Australia-based Neo Metals and India's Money Current Power have announced a collaboration last year. 
Neo Metals has launched a feasibility study for establishing India's first lithium refinery. This is significant as Australia is a major player with lithium reserves of an estimated 2.7 million tons. It is also the biggest producer of the white metal with 51,000 metric tons of lithium produced in 2018. Between Australia and Japan themselves, there are plans to forge deep ties in producing lithium batteries. Australian Federal Agency, the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization and Japanese chemical manufacturer Biotrek have partnered to develop lithium batteries in Australia for commercial production over the next few years. The US also forms part of this informal multilateral partnership to dethrone China's electric vehicle domination. The US currently contributes less than 2% of the global supply of lithium, though the country has 17% of the global lithium reserves. The US wants to augment its lithium extraction and bolster the lithium batteries production in the country. The fact remains that Tesla is the biggest corporate giant in the electric vehicle sector. Tesla has two huge factories in California and Nevada. Both these factories are strategically located near the rich lithium reserves in the Salton Sea, California and Silver Peak, Nevada. At this point, American interests are driven by Tesla, the biggest electric vehicle manufacturer and batteries innovator. If and when the global transportation market goes electric, it is the US led by Tesla which will dominate the world market. Therefore, lithium production and processing are at the core of America's strategic interests. The US too is becoming a part of the global lithium supply chain away from China. Japan also aspires to become a world leader in lithium-ion battery production and therefore it wants to hunt for lithium reserves around the world. China has been powering the electric vehicle market by grabbing an extraordinary share of lithium production from around the world. But India, Australia, Japan and the US have now come together to move away from Beijing-led lithium-ion battery supply chains. Together, the four democratic powers of the world are dethroning China's electric vehicle monopoly.